for the 20th of February 2018 we start off with the uh, domain squeals s q u e a l s dot com uh, price it sold was 4688 by domains squeals is a good one word domain name and uh, let's have a look potentially who could have bought it that could have sold maybe for nine ten thousand i would say double but uh sometimes when you get an offer that the people are willing to pay straight away and the money's on the table you you sometimes tend to uh to take the deal when when you have it so squeals i don't see anything right now it could be a good name for uh a, like a pet product or something to do with pigs or landscaping so that's that's what the idea is behind that I would definitely just look at that if people do actually end up building it out into a website I'd like to know what they do so we can go and look at squeals.com today see if there's anything on it and while that loads uh, I'll look at the next sale it is 33 zero zero seven seven three three zero zero seven seven dot com so these are number names this is only numbers no letters it sold for four thousand four hundred and sixty one so that's one two three four five six six numbers for four th four and a half thousand that's uh, quite a high price for uh, a six letter but because it's got repeating numbers it makes it a little bit more valuable and um, the most valuable number in succession or anywhere would be eights um, what I can see is uh, if you go look at name bio a really interesting really interesting one to look at is you go to name bio and then you type in just like 888 in the number in the keyword you type 888 just 888 and click search then you sort by price you're going to see there that the first sale, the highest sale, is 5 eights. So 5 eights is 888. Eight, 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 eight. So that one went for 245,000. Okay, 245,000. Why that name is valuable? In uh, Chinese numerology, the number eight is lucky. So that's also lucky. And also, in a hand of poker, you get eight cards. Um, oh no, sorry, you get five cards in hand of poker, and this would be considered a full house because you have five cards that are the same. So it's kind of like if you got a full house in poker. So basically, all the cards were what you needed in one of the highest, not a royal flush, but just like five cards. Like, how would you get a full house? Let's see, it's like, it could be a straight, full house in poker. So a full house in poker is three cards matching and then one, one rank of two matching cards of another rank. So kind of like king, 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 ace, ace, that would be a full house, okay? Uh, so having all the eights is a full house. Then you get the second sale there is eight eights. So that's even super lucky. And so eight eights, literally the number eight typed in your keyboard eight times went for 150,000. And then six eights dot net went for 35,000. All these sales went at Uniregistry in the period of 2013 to 2015. In uh, 2015, there were a lot of sales for numbers uh, in the, the Chinese market. There was a lot of uh, Chinese investors and, and even European people buying numbers because they could see the value of them. Um, so numbers to st stick with are eight, seven, nine, sometimes five, six, yes, and four is no. Four is kind of like bad luck and it means uh, in Chinese numerology, death. 
Next one up is a four letter MZEN 4200. Again, four letters are really uh, sticking around about the four and five thousand dollar mark. Get flat could be a name. So, get flat 3688 could be a name for fitness. Maybe someone looking to build out a blog about getting, I don't know, a flat stomach or I don't know what that has to do with maybe exercise or working out. Next one is Challenge Court, 3,177 could be a legal representative on that one. Another one which I really like is Aerobic Exercises for $2,827. $2,827. So Aerobic Exercises, uh, you could put literally like an online course there if you could teach online uh, aerobics and you can make a, almost a, a site that makes you money straight away uh, this is a funny name where you have to be careful the name is church of art but it also can look like it is church of fart so names like that you got to be careful because it can have like two meanings and when people read it wrong it can make it really really look bad 2,541 uh, 2, at buy domains. Next one is wholesale bakers. Wholesale is always good. Um, you get wholesale foods, wholesale bakers. So it might be another chain of maybe Walmart. I don't know. But bakers is good. People like bread. 2,288. Next one, blueprint lighting. For 2,000, solid name. It's got to do with, uh, let's have a look. Blueprint lighting. BlueprintLighting.com There could be a company called BlueprintLighting.com.au which is the Australian CCTLD. They could be upgrading for $2,000. Um, I don't know how much that would be in Australian dollars, maybe a little bit more. Uh, I would say if you have a budget of uh, marketing for the year, I would definitely upgrade to your you know, dot com domain if you can. Next one I like here is DJ Hub. D J H U B. Uh names that end in hub do sound or do sell for a lot. Um you can type in the keyword in name bio hub H U B and then at the placement at the end and then obviously we want to look at dot com. We search here. And then you sort from highest to lowest. So the highest hub related name is News Hub, sold for 40,000. School Hub, 27,500. Movie Hub, 26,000. Uh, Live Hub, 25,000. Content Hub, 22,000. Hub Hub, there's the double sounding name. When you just repeat it, Hub Hub, 20,000. 20, and Sport Hub, 17,600. So you can see names that end in the word hub do sell for a lot so I, I think the person that sold dj hub which was by domains sold it or underpriced it for uh, that particular name because it probably could have got at least one of those prices say at least in the uh, five figures so if you own dj hub good on you i think you're gonna make uh, a good business with that domain um, but also just remember that name will hold uh, resale, resale value perhaps above $10,000 um, in the future.